What's up guys, this is Coach LaRussa from MakePlays.com welcoming you back to our sixth week of Film Room Fridays. Today we'll break down five star small forward, Zion Williamson. Early this winter I got a phone call from a cousin of mine. He likes basketball but doesn't really follow it too much at the high school level. But he asked me, have you ever heard of this Zion Williamson kid? Dude is insane. This phone call was followed by several others, and within weeks of the season starting, he wasn't just the talk of the town, he was the talk of the nation. He basically broke the internet and racked up over 10 million views on YouTube. Well, I'm here to tell you that the hype is real, and today you'll see why. At just 16 years old, Zion is a man amongst boys, measuring in at 6'8", 230 with a 6'10 wingspan. And although it was this winter season that he went viral, he's been doing this for over a year now. In the Adidas Gauntlet, he averaged 19 points and 9 boards while shooting 73% from the field. And as one of the youngest players at Top 100 camp, he was named MVP. So how is he doing all this? Surely he isn't just dunking the ball on every play. Well, most of the time he's attacking the paint, and he uses a hard rip through to drive left. He also uses a nice counter to fake left and cross back to his right. One thing to note is that he's able to get to the rim and three dribbles or less with these moves. Now let's watch one of his go-to moves, the fake right spin back left. The key to this move is the pound dribble right before the spin. This gives him a burst of explosiveness before he goes for the finish. He also uses the half spin move where he shows his back to the defense and then spins left. This move is very effective both on the perimeter and in the post. And the truth is, once he gets a step on you, he's going to move you out of his way with his upper body strength. Against the 2-3 zone, he's the perfect middleman as he's a big target with great hands. He can simply turn an attack with no trouble. So far, these have been moves that are commonly used at the wing forward position. But here's where it gets crazy. Zion's developing a full bag of breakdown moves off the bounce. The type of moves we see at the guard position. The type of moves that'll make him one of the rare players that can play every position on the floor. And although he's still dominant with his left hand, he's developing right-handed counters at a rapid pace. What's even more impressive is how he reacts to the help. When he gets cut off, he stays on balance and changes direction. It's honestly rare to see a 16 year old with the instinctive ability to counter. So when he sees help defense, he uses a hesitation dribble and then explodes to whichever side he sees a gap. This is where his strength and ability to finish off two feet come in handy. If he gets this deep, it's typically too late for the defense. They can hope he misses or go ahead and foul him, but either way, he's coming with a force. Next we'll talk about his transition game. Although he's a great defensive rebounder, the ball doesn't always end up in his hands. So when one of his teammates secures the rebound, Zion is filling the lanes. And you can probably imagine this is where he gets a lot of his highlights. But from a coach's perspective, this is efficient offense. It's a quick way to score, and it allows you to push the tempo of the game. Zion can get to the rack in one or two dribbles when catching the ball at half court. And this is a nightmare scenario for opposing coaches. But with Zion, you get the best of both worlds. Because when he does grab the defensive rebound, he can push the break himself. His ball control seems to get better every time I see him. And we're witnessing him evolve from a forward to an all-around playmaker. So with a head of steam, he's like a bull charging the matador. Go ahead, try and take the charge. I'll respect you for it. But the truth is, he stays on balance and can change speeds and change directions in the open floor. To sum it all up, it's going to take five guys playing great transition defense to stop him from making a play on the break. Hey, I might even send two to trap him as he catches the rebound. At least then we'd get the ball out of his hands. But the funny thing here is that he's only getting better with time. Versatility means everything nowadays, and Zion is as versatile as a Swiss Army knife. You can pretty much use him anywhere on the floor and for any purpose. And another way to use him is as the screener in pick and roll. 
Whether he's slipping, popping, or sealing, he's going to force the defense to make a tough decision. If they hedge out on the ball handler and leave him alone, he's going to get an easy bucket inside. If they switch, he's got a mismatch where he can take his man off the dribble or bully them inside. And if they focus entirely on stopping him, his ball handler is gonna come clean off the screen. So depending on how good the ball handler is, you'll have to pick your poison based on personnel. Given the physical abilities that Zion possesses, it's a no-brainer that he's able to clean up the offensive glass. You ever seen a bowling ball crash into the pins? Well, that's kind of what it's like when Zion crashes the glass. He throws his weight around and he moves people out of his way. There's a reason he averaged 37 points and 13 rebounds this high school season. He makes it a priority to pursue every shot. This ain't prima donna ball. This is what you get from a thoroughbred, a certified competitor. That's why he dominated top 100 last year. He had NBA players and scouts shaking their heads at his ability to bully guys that were older than him and bigger than him. The most often question I get about Zion is can he shoot? And my answer is yes, he can shoot, but he's still working on improving his consistency. Although he only knocked down 30% of his threes this high school season, he's got the tools to become a good shooter. And mark my words, you'll see his game evolve over the next five years. High schoolers can't stop him from dominating inside, but we'll see his game become much more balanced as he reaches the college and pro level. There aren't many players who fall into this category. The type of guys who can take bigger defenders to the perimeter and smaller defenders to the post. This makes him a matchup nightmare. And when teamed up with multiple bigs, he draws smaller defenders. And typically, they're just not strong enough to stop him inside. The versatility we've described also applies to the defensive end of the floor. Zion is a tremendous shot blocker. He's got the strength to guard the post, and he's got the lateral quickness to guard the perimeter. So how does this all translate to a single game? Right here we'll break down footage from his high school state championship. I wasn't actually there, so quick shout out to Elite Mixtapes for the footage. I just want you to watch. I want you to grasp that this is just one game. He's making plays on both ends of the floor. He's attacking in transition and he's attacking in the half court. He's knocking down perimeter jumpers and he's getting to the rack at will. But beyond the beauty of the highlights, Notice that he's not just playing the game. He's not just competing, he's controlling it. He's owning the crowd and he's putting on a show. The fans sit in awe of what he might do next, wondering and waiting with their phones ready to share their experience with the world. This is a trait that doesn't come around very often. There are tons of good players. Heck, there are a lot of great players, but very few players have the ability to captivate a crowd like this. In this game, Zion finished with 51 points and 9 rebounds, leading Spartanburg Day to a 24-point victory in a state championship. And whether you like Zion or not, there aren't many guys putting up those kind of numbers in high school basketball, past or present. For example, in LeBron's junior year, he averaged 29 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and 3 steals. And that's LeBron. So compare that to Zion's average of 37 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, and 3 blocks during his junior year. Now many times I've heard people compare him to LeBron, but I disagree. LeBron is the best player in the league, and Zion is a talented youngster just trying to bring his own flair to the game. That's the beauty of the game of basketball. A great player can share their own masterpiece with the world. So instead of trying to build borders and limitations based on what we've seen in the past, just try to embrace the artistry of the game we all love. Let players become what God destined them to be. I mean, come on, he's 16, who knows what'll happen. We can make predictions all day, but instead of going that route, I'm just gonna do what I can to support the kid and enjoy watching him go through the process. That's about all I've got to say, folks. We witnessed dominance this year, and I hope you enjoyed it.
Thanks for checking out today's breakdown of Zion Williamson. Tune in next week for another episode of Film Room Fridays. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next week.